Hi, I'm James Croft. If you're studying at TAFE Queensland and using Connect, you may have encountered assessments that use a PDF document as a template or starting point for your assessment. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at the process of saving that PDF to your device, filling it out, and then uploading it back to Connect using the Assignments tool. Let's take a look. For this example, I'm going to be using a Windows PC, but the process is also very similar on the Mac. Before we begin, let's make sure that you've got Adobe's Acrobat Reader app. It's a free app that allows you to fill out PDF documents and you can download it at get.adobe.com reader. Once you've got that installed on your PC, we can continue. Now, let's navigate to our assessment. I'll do this by going to it via the content tool. From here, I can see my assessment. I can click the title to see more info, like the instructions and any downloadable documents attached. If my assessment is using a PDF document, I'll see it attached here. If I click to open this PDF, this will launch it in a new tab in my browser, and from here, I can see its contents. This is because I'm using the Chrome web browser for this task, and Chrome has a built-in PDF document viewer. If you're using a different browser, like Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox, or something else, you might get a slightly different behavior. We don't want to just view this document. We want to download this document to our PC, fill it out, and then upload it back. If I fill this document out now, the information I entered isn't saved. So let's achieve this a different way. Firstly, let's download this document to our PC. I can do this by clicking the download icon on the document and choosing a location to save it. Or I can go back to my assessment instructions, right click on the link and choose save link as. Now we've downloaded our file, we can double click to open it using Adobe Acrobat Reader. I can see this particular PDF has a bunch of areas where I can enter information into it. These areas are highlighted with a slightly different color. I can click inside and then start typing to fill them out. If your PDF is a template that you fill out, you'll notice that you can do the same thing. Keep in mind that not all PDF-based attachments are interactive in this way. Some are just instructions and you'll submit your work in a different way. Be sure to always check your assessment instructions for information on how your instructor wants you to submit your work. Now I can start adding my information to this document. Like any document, don't forget to save frequently as you go. Okay, now I'm all done and I've saved my work. I can close the document and I'm ready to upload it back into Connect. To complete this assessment, we need to upload this file to the submission folder and then submit it. Let's click the upload button to begin. Browse for the PDF we were working on and select it. It will then upload to Connect as an attachment to my submission. I'll add a quick comment for my instructor, then click the submit button to complete. I'll get a confirmation page that my submission was received successfully, along with an emailed receipt. To summarize, the key to this process is to make sure you download the PDF to your device and open it using Adobe Acrobat Reader. Once it's open, add your work, save the file, and then upload as usual into Connect. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.